big win Don Wilson here for Top MMA News. Here with Eric Shampoo after a really successful event at the Bell Center. Tell us your feelings for the night. I'm very happy with our, our event. We had amazing fights. Yeah. And um, I'm very happy the crowd was there. We had a spectacular fights. And at the end of the day, everybody's happy. So I'm happy. I gotta say, for me, the, the, the big bang was the Darren Cruikshank, Mike Ricci fight. I thought that was a phenomenal fight, start to finish. Great matchmaking. Um, you know, what were your thoughts on that fight? I was surprised to see uh, Kushank. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, he, I was very surprised at the first round. I was very surprised at how he was uh, spectacular with his flying kicks, flying knees. And he was everything that he was throwing, he was touching. And I saw in, in Mike's eyes that he, he, has, he was looking for answers. And uh, we're happy to have, have him now with, our, with the ringside organization. Are you planning on signing him further? For, I, I know this was a one-fight deal. Are you, are you yeah, hoping to sign him? We, uh, we, we sent him, uh, before he arrives, a yeah. three-fight deal. So uh, we'll see what happens. And you mentioned at the press conference that you are hoping to have uh, Guillaume de Lorenzi yeah. be his first challenger. Yeah, exactly. I think Guillaume de Lorenzi versus that guy, I think it would be amazing. Do you have any news on de Lorenzi's uh, recovery, how he's doing? He was here today. Uh, what I know is that all his um, our injuries are okay and he's starting back to, to train, so uh, I think uh, we should have news very very shortly. Now, speaking of some news, uh, you announced some news in the cage today. A uh, very famous kickboxer seems to be joining the ranks of ringside. Do you want to let us in on that? Yeah, we are with the Wonder Boy. Uh, I saw him train with GSP uh, at the TriStar last week, and I said, oh my God, I, I want this guy on my show. I think he's like 46-0 uh, in, in the kickboxing, and he's 5-0 in MMA fights, so we are very uh, lucky to have him uh, to have him with us. Now, there's also a rumor going around that you picked up another, well, this time professional boxer in Eric Barak. Yeah. Uh, I've heard three uh, three fight contract. Is that true? Exactly. We have three fight contract with uh, Eric Barak, and um, we're waiting to we're looking on his next opponent. Now, last time he was in the cage, most recently at Instinct MMA, he did call out Donald Brashear, someone yeah. you guys uh, have under contract yeah. as well. Is that something you're interested in putting together? Yeah, yeah, we are looking at it. We sent, uh, we called Donald and he was already uh, he knew already that Barack called him he told me he likes those kind of challenge and he will let us know uh, his intention perfect that would be a great fight for the fans to see a real big one to get the crowd in yeah. now I don't want to keep it too long but I know we got a few other questions here so I'll try to go quick welterweight division we have Seth Bazinski we have Chris Clemens we have Alex Garcia um, do you know how we're gonna you're gonna be able to arrange that to kind of sort it out but it's it's easy because uh, Seth Bazinski for now is not available yeah, at the UFC Chris Clement is our champion, yep. Garcia is our challenger, so we want to try to make that fight happening. Now you had Paul Daly on the card today, any chance of maybe bringing him back, have him challenge? Because I think Chris Clements versus Paul Daly would be a very exciting, might be quick, but exciting. Uh, you're right, but the problem is uh, Paul, uh, Paul Daly is trying to get some fighters that will bring him back maybe to the UFC. Uh, when we at begin at, at first before Luigi, we proposed Clemens and Bazetsky to Paul, and he said no, and uh, he brought us back with with Luigi because he had a bigger background. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. We'll ask him. We never know. So also now your your featherweight and bantamweight division. You had uh, Mitch Gagnon, beautiful win over the Canadian killer Bo Harris. First time a Canadian was able to take out Bo Harris. So thank you for finally bringing us that. Um, is he finally going to move down to bantamweight? And you think that'll free up the featherweight title? I think so. Uh, what I heard from uh, Mitch Gagnon that he was very comfortable at 135, and I think he wanted to, to stay there. He feels that he's more um, powerful and uh, better at that weight. So I think we'll we'll put free to 145. Now I have one more question for you, and I'll kind of set this one up myself. Um, when I was a, when, I, when I was an original fan of MMA, TKO was was where I, I learned most of my French and where I learned a lot of my, my French fighters. TKO went away. Ringside came up. You're on your 12th event. Um, as all of our fans know, especially on the heels of the cancellation of Global Warriors, not many promotions get to 12 events, let alone five. Stefan Patry stopped. You came in. And I guess he feels that you were warming his seat because he decided to come back. We have yet to ask you how you feel about the Instinct's re-entrance into, into MMA in Quebec and, and, and really close to Montreal, which has been your home for the past few years. I just would like your, your, your thoughts on, on the new competition. 
Uh, honestly, I think it's uh, good for the fighters because here in, in Quebec, there's a lot of fighters and with one, only one promotion, you cannot do enough event to make everybody fight. So I hope that we'll find a way to put our events so we don't do everything in the same month. And I think there's room for, for two promotion here in Quebec. Very, very well said. One last thing, you mentioned two promotions. You did have Rising Star, which was a, a nice entry-level promotion. Um, there's been rumors that that will be going away, not enough fighters to fill it. Can you comment on that? Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll put it on ice for now because, because of a, a new promoter in Quebec that also wants fighters. Right now, uh, with two promotions, there's not enough fighters to do all those kinds of shows. So for now, we'll put it on the ice and we'll uh, put some uh, some professional debuts on our ringside events. Perfect. Once again, fans, this has been Big Win Don Wilson with Eric Shampoo. As Thank always, it's a pleasure. And like I want to say, it's always nice to see a Canadian pro, uh, promotion that has prospered in these times. 12 events. Looking forward to a 13th, hopefully before the end of the year. Eric Shampoo, thanks again for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.